Hey, Jeff here with Digital Trends, and we are at the HTC booth in uh, at CES, and I'm talking here with JB. Wondering if you can tell us a little bit about the new uh, the new Vive. Yeah, of course. So this is the uh, the Vive Pre. Um, there's a couple of new hardware enhancements that we've made here. Some of the things you probably know about already. Um, the most noticeable thing right off the bat is that the headset is a little bit more compact than it was before. So we also have a new strap. We've got a kind of a, a little bit you know different design here in the back. Uh, a cradle that kind of sits on the back of the head makes it a little bit more comfortable. Sits the weight is a little bit better on your head. Um, we've got swivels here for comfort as well. Uh, you'll notice that this goes over the top of the ears now. Um, we also have this hole in the back for people with ponytails if they if they have that as well. We've also done some pretty cool things with the uh, the visual chain. So uh, we're, we're doing a couple different things. One of which you have brighter displays. Brighter displays lead to kind of a deeper sense of presence um, because everything looks more vibrant. If you're you're looking at something dark and instead of looking like it's kind of cloudy, um, we actually correct for that. And so it makes, no matter what you're looking at, everything should be more clear than it was before. So really excited about that. Uh, we also have a, a new front-facing camera on here. Uh, the front-facing camera integrates directly with the Chaperone system. And uh, you know we've been working on Vive for quite a while, and we've de developed it from the very beginning, from the ground up, uh, for room scale VR. So one of the most unique things about it is being able to not only sit and stand, but also walk around a space up to 15 by 15 feet. And part of that means you need to be protected. You don't want to bump into objects. And so the Chaperone system keeps you safe as you walk around. When you approach a perimeter, the Chaperone actually appears and lets you know that there's a wall or another object close by. And so the new camera integrates with that. And so it's kind of the next generation Chaperone, uh, allowing you to walk around and roam freely uh, while feeling safe. These are the new controllers. They're uh, designed a little bit different than before. You'll see we have a new sensor array at the top. The combination of this, this new sensor design as well as the, the new base stations provides us better tracking than we had before. And then the base stations as well have been redesigned. So they look somewhat similar to before in their form factor, uh, but they're a little bit more compact. They're all enclosed now. The cool thing about this is they have new components inside. So they're quieter than they were before. They have less vibration than they had before. Um, they also can now be run wirelessly. Let's try it out. My paddles are now, they look like uh, something from the game Portal. They're kind of white. A whole bunch of tiny people. And it just killed all the people in the drawer. There's a robot walking in. I think I'm going to lose this game. Everything is opening up around me. So I really feel like the floor is very unstable. <laughs> that was nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just super happy. Uh, this reminds me so much of the first time I got to use it about a year ago. And the difference is it, it seems to track a little better. So I was in an undersea uh, demo um, where I was in the bottom of a ship and I actually, when you look over the edge, um, you feel, you actually feel like a little bit of scared of heights. When I'm looking over the edge, there was a whale that came by. Um, the, it's, it's so difficult to explain, but it, it's very accurate, uh, the motion whenever you move. When I move my hand in the game, uh, because of the sensors, the laser sensors on the wall in here, it actually moves in, I can see it in the game and it's just flawless movement. So, and the visuals look a little bit better than they did last year too. So it still looks like a video game, but it really feels just more real than, I think it's, it's, it's just kind of like being on a real holodeck. And I love the new system where when you get close to the edge of, uh, of it kind of sets out a grid in your room. I can see you, Bill, who's filming this, and I can see everybody around here as well, so I can kind of see what's going on in the room around you. When you normally play VR, you feel very disconnected from where you actually are in the real world, but this allows you to kind of, you could see a chair in your room, you could see other things, and you can actually still interact with the real world while you're using virtual reality, thanks to the, uh, the camera on the front. So overall, I'm really impressed. I can't wait till, it sounds like uh, February, they're doing pre-orders, and uh, this will start coming out around March and April of next year. So I can't wait to see the final HTC Vive.